Accusations of anti-Semitism at Harvard stem from student protests over the Gaza war that often were hostile to Israel. Harvard tightened rules around protests and commissioned reports on anti-Semitism and Islamophobia. A survey on campus found that 40% of Jewish staff, faculty, and students who responded said they felt discriminated against because of their views. 71% of Muslim respondents said the same. President Trump has focused on anti-Semitism at Harvard. I think Harvard's a disgrace. I think what they did was a disgrace. They're obviously anti-Semitic. The president broadened his criticism and called for dismantling DEI and for audits on hiring, admissions, and academic programs. When Harvard refused federal oversight, the Trump administration froze more than $2 billion in grants, mostly for scientific and medical research. So has your progress been stalled? So our progress has been significantly affected. Now, I'm spending most of my time ringing doorbells to find alternate funding so that we can keep the lab going. This past April, Harvard sued the government to regain its funding. And in September, a federal judge sided with Harvard and ruled the funding freeze unlawful saying the Trump administration used anti-Semitism as a smokescreen for a targeted, ideologically motivated assault and ordered all the money restored. The funds have started to flow again, at least for now, but researchers say much damage has been done. And the Trump administration has vowed to appeal the judge's ruling and block Harvard from receiving future grants. There's now this existential threat that this could happen again. What does that mean for science, that uncertainty? It will eventually draw people away from the United States to carry out research where that kind of threat and that kind of insecurity doesn't exist.